I want to tell you about a little experiment my wife and I tried about five years ago after shortly moving into our new home. We had both recently read a book called The Hidden Messages in Water about a man who studied the crystal shapes of water after being exposed to different circumstances. He found that water, after being exposed to positive words like love, wisdom, and truth, froze into very beautiful and very attractive crystals. But on the other hand, he found that very negative words had the opposite effect, forming very ugly crystals. And since our bodies are made up of around 70% water, this lends a lot of credibility to the idea that the words we use and the words that people use to us can actually physically manifest in the way that we look and feel. So here's the basic idea of the experiment. My wife and I cooked up a full pot of rice in the same container the same day. We took three different mason jars and we divided the rice into each of those jars and sealed the lid on tight. The only thing that we did different was we took labels and wrote different messages and attached them to the different jars. One jar was full of love and positivity, the other jar was labeled with hate and other negative comments, and the third jar was left completely unlabeled. Now what we were supposed to do was talk to the jars every day, expressing love and affinity to the one that was labeled positively, express hate and disdain to the one that was labeled negatively, and completely ignore the one that wasn't labeled at all. What actually happened was we stuck these things away on a shelf and completely forgot about them for about six months. When we came back to check six months later, this is what we found. Can you see a noticeable difference between the positive and the negative energy here? What's really interesting about this is these are just from labels alone. We didn't talk to these, we didn't spend any time with these, we didn't give them any different kinds of energies. All we did is label the jars and set them away and forget about them. I think that's a pretty stark contrast. Now the one that wasn't labeled at all, you can see it did turn a little bit discolored. I'm a little bit surprised because I would have thought this would be the most disgusting one out of all of them because negative attention is supposed to be better than no attention at all. You can clearly see the results of our experiment here and this is something that you could try at home as well. And what's really amazing is we've actually had these jars for five years now and they haven't changed any different color since then. They just kind of hit that six month mark and stopped. So interesting experiment. Do the words that you say and the labels you give people make a difference to how they actually turn out? I think based on these experiments there is some credibility to the idea. The book Hidden Messages in Water strongly supports the idea that the words that you use affects the different crystal shapes that water will take. Being someone who likes to experiment, I like to put that to the test, and these are simply the results of our experiment here. It's a very simple experiment, but very profound food for thought. Thanks for joining me for this video, guys. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Good stuff. All right, let's go feed this to the chickens. You guys want some rice? Are you hungry? You want some? You want some? Hey guys, thanks for watching, and remember I'm giving away prizes now on every new video. All you have to do to qualify is subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and select to be notified when my next videos get released. The secret link to my giveaways will be pinned in the comments for the first 12 hours. If you like what I'm doing, show your support right now by giving this video a big thumbs up and share with a friend. I love you back, and I'll see you next time.